Joan Vernon, angler, captain, tournament director, and conservationist, personifies recreational angling at its best. Born in Arizona, Joan was introduced to snook, redfish, and trout on a trip to Fort Myers, Florida. By the end of a family sailing trip down the Mississippi River to the Florida Keys when she was 13, Joan had developed a love for the sea and an enthusiasm and aptitude for fishing. She spent the next few summers with world-class guides in Florida and the Bahamas, learning all she could about the sport. When she moved to Key Biscayne, Florida in 1970, Joan began making her mark almost immediately. She competed in the Women's World Invitational Tarpon Tournament, was the Mets Women's Master Angler in 1979, 1980, and 1982, and in 1981 won the Mets Fly Championship, the only woman to attain this honor. By 1987, she had earned her captain's license and was charter fishing. Joan has fished in more than a dozen countries and from 1998 to 2005 released 1,000 billfish on light tackle alone and then stopped counting. In the early 1980s, Joan became involved in conservation as a board member for ProFish, a group that lobbied for snook and redfish protection in South Florida. Years before it became popular, she was fly fishing for sailfish in Flamingo, Costa Rica, where the sight of billfish swept up in nets and killed in tournaments disturbed her. In an effort to convince Central America's leaders that healthy fisheries were vital to their economies, she proposed a new billfish tournament concept, the Presidential Challenge of Central America, a non-pursed series held in the fertile waters of Panama, Costa Rica, and Guatemala. Many impressive conservation inroads have been achieved by the PCCA since 1996, all the result of Joan's foresight, determination, energy, and passion. At the same time, Joan was involved in the groundbreaking research being conducted on circle hooks and their use as a conservation tool to further reduce billfish mortality. In 1999, the Presidential Challenge became the world's first all-circle hook release tournament, a few years later, Costa Rica declared circle hooks mandatory for billfish, and Guatemala soon followed. And in 2008, the U.S. did the same in Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico waters. In 2002, when Joan convinced the Yamaha Contender Miami Billfish Tournament, an event she co-founded in 1982, to switch to circle hooks, it became the first U.S. tournament to do so. The list of tournaments Jones won, trophies she's captured, and awards she's received fills pages. She's a 30-year member and two-term president of the International Women's Fishing Association, past chairman of the Billfish Foundation, recipient of the American Sport Fishing Association's Lifetime Achievement Award and NOAA's Environmental Hero Award, and in 2007 was one of six finalists for Field and Streams Hero of Conservation Award. For her decades of outstanding fishing accomplishments and exceptional conservation achievements, and for epitomizing a true sportsman in every sense of the word, the IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame celebrates Joan Vernon.